G'day and welcome to Camperland TV, a new channel that we've created especially for people interested in getting out and enjoying the great outdoors. We all love it, don't we? It's here that you're going to find all the latest news and information relevant to caravanning and the lifestyle that we all know and love so much. Isn't that right, Georgie? That is right. Destinations to visit, caravan profiles and reviews, tips and tricks to make your getaway more memorable, even cooking ideas for when you're on the road. You'll find it all here at Camperland TV. Now, our beautiful on-location set is here at Brisbane Camperland on Wynnum Road at Tim Gelper in Brisbane's leafy eastern suburbs. A wonderful location to come and browse and dream of owning a new van. And behind us is the Jayco Journey Outback, a Christmas cracker indeed, and a bit later on, we're going to take a look inside her in more detail, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, an absolute beast. I've been lucky enough to take one of these on the road and, uh, yep, you can't buy better. Coming up on our Christmas edition of Camperland TV, summer holidays. We're going to take a look at five of the most desirable Christmas holiday caravan retreats. How to decorate your van for the upcoming holiday season. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> See if you can keep up with us. Uh, Christmas on the Barbie with Chef Andrew Miros, who joins us today. And what do you give the couple who have everything for Christmas? What about something for their van? We'll have to put our thinking caps on. But first, one of the truly great things about Australia and Australian culture is our love for beachside caravan park holidays. We are indeed blessed to have so many of these dotted around the country on land with million dollar views. Literally, we thought we would take a look at a really good one you may not have seen in the tiny town of Evans Head on the New South Wales North Coast. There are a staggering 600 sites at the Reflections Evans Head Holiday Park, which I'm sure keeps Manager Scott very busy. It's just such an iconic location. You've got the, everything's close by. People can just come into the park, they can park their van, park their car, and they don't have to touch it for the entire stay. We get people coming into the park for, um, you know, one night and they end up staying for a couple of weeks. They've got, you've got the river at your doorstep, you've got the surf, um, so there's just so much to do, clubs, pubs, the main street's close by, you can just walk everywhere. The town is well catered for in terms of visitors. Two butchers, two supermarkets, a great pub. And whilst I'm sure at some point I'll get to them all, I came here with something else in mind. To have a cast off the North Arm and just enjoy the view. Evans Head, a fantastic destination if you're thinking about wedding a lion. A bloke who knows a thing or two about fishing is this bloke that's here with me, grower fisher chef Andrew Mirosh, who's joined us today to put on a traditional Christmas feast. What are we having, mate? I'm going to do the a turkey, a baked ham, and a surprise at the end. Fantastic. And this can be done using the Weber or using the camp kitchen? Just the Weber and the camp kitchen, that's all I need. All right, so I've taken the sausage out of the skins. I've got some onion and some bacon and some herbs that I've uh, sauteed off and cooled. Thyme, some rosemary, a little bit of basil, pretty well what, whatever you got. You just work it through so everything's incorporated. So open it up, fill, force some of the stuffing into the turkey. I'm wrapping it in a bit of bacon just once again to add a bit of moisture and protect the turkey breast. A couple of potatoes, some little baby carrots. And so what now, it doesn't look like we're roughing it too much. No, no, we're, we're eating very well. Just That'll go in the Weber for about 40 minutes to an hour. Okay, round of the Weber. Round of the Weber. You'd also do it in the oven in the in the van as well. That's Hello. it. Forget about it. What would be your ideal Christmas lunch? Uh, maybe a cold beer or something. Yeah, we've passed that. We've oh. passed that. What about a baked ham glazed? Sorry. Glazed. Keep this. mind on the job, Andrew. This is glazed with figs, fresh figs, and ginger. So that it'll sounds be nice beautiful. and sticky. Can, tell me a little bit about this, because it looks like you've taken uh, the, the rind off it, or the Yeah, I've taken the, the, bark the off skin it. off, yeah, yeah, and I've used the skin as a base for the ham. So it'll, the skin will actually render a bit, and oh. it'll, it'll release a bit of moisture, and that'll stay really, really nice and moist. The orange will give it an extra flavour, like a citrus flavour, and cloves are very, very traditional with ham. So basically what you do is slice your oranges pretty thin, yep. You just overlap them yeah. and use the cloves like a drawing pin. Traditionally, how long would it go into uh, the Weber for? Hour, hour and a half. Okay. Yep. What you usually do is just, just put it in for a little while, let the oranges cook and the juice to release and the, and the beautiful aromas and oils, then just glaze it. And once it's glazed, it's pretty well done. Okay. okay. In next to the turkey, in the Weber, and um, 
See, that, that's looking really good. Yeah, yeah, the turkey's pretty well ready to go. That's looking really nice and good. Hot. Okay. So Christmas lunch is nearly organised. We've got the ham and the turkey baking away in the Weber. Yep. But you just, you know, can't sit still for five minutes. What are you doing now? Mate, no Christmas lunch is complete without Queensland seafood. And these are some of Queensland best prawns. Oh, tell me a little bit about that. Are they kingies? They're kings from Stratty, so they're a beautiful prawn. How do you know they're from Stratty? Because I know the trawl. I, <laughs> I actually know the trawl who caught them, so. <laughs> I'll start with some avocado. Got some really nice avocado here. I've just scored it, so it comes out of the shell easily. Beautiful. So a little bit of our mayonnaise. We're making a basic sort of guacamole style. Bit of black pepper, a little bit of lemon juice. Give it a mash up. Yeah. What is it about avocado and prawn? Just a classic pairing, isn't it? And mm. mango. Mm. You know, what could be more Queensland? Nothing more Queensland. Or summery, Christmas. Yeah, beautiful. All so right. You're just sort of mashing that up a bit. Yeah, lightly, but I still want texture. I don't want it to be. A puree. Yes. I've just cut it so it comes off easily. Beautiful. A little bit of sand crab on top of that as well. We're going all out. All right, so we slide that off. Then we've got our prawns. A little bit of mint from my own garden. And that's, that's my ideal Christmas lunch. If I was going to sit down and have Christmas lunch, I'd have an entree of turkey and the ham and stuff, but that would be the showpiece yeah, of my day. That is a beautiful, beautiful entree. Well, that smells amazing. I can't wait to sample some of that food. It's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. Oh, isn't it, it certainly is. But time now to take a look over our feature van this week, the Jayco Journey Outback with Paul from Brisbane Camperland. So today on Camperland TV, we'll be taking a look at our flagship family oriented model, the 22681 Journey Outback. One of the terrific features on the 2020 Jayco Journey range is the 12 volt awning. Simply push a button on your phone, Extend your awning out and it takes one of life's dreary tasks and turns it into something fun. You simply download the Carefree app on your phone and you can extend and retract your awning with a push of a button. This is our popular optional slide out kitchen featuring the sink, a two burner cooker and a fold out tray for your Weber as well. So the 22681 Outback has standard features front to back. Starting of course with a pillow top in a spring mattress which then lifts up for a very generous storage. The kitchen itself, there's plenty of bench space, cupboards, and then features Jayco's oven grill combination with four gas burners on top. Mains pressure water or 12 volt pump through the sink, depending on where you're staying. And then of course, the 24 inch TV DVD for those family nights in. This particular caravan has our optional L-shaped dinette. You also have a cafe seating as well. The table is very versatile. I simply reach underneath, engage a clutch, and I can swivel and move that table around to suit people getting in and out. The Journey Outback features generous sized bunks, a separate shower and toilet, with a standard washing machine. And that's it, a brief rundown on the 22681 Journey Outback. It's time for you folks to get out there, have a safe and happy Christmas. Here are five South East Queensland destinations definitely worth checking out when next you hitch up the van. At number five, Queen Mary Falls Caravan Park. Lots of grass, not too many people, a nice walk to the Falls Lookout and King Parrots. At number four, Bagara Beach, gateway to the southern Great Barrier Reef and majestic Lady Musgrave Island. At number three, Gordon Country for some fantastic bush camping in the Goombra Valley. At number two, Bluff Creek Campground Kenilworth. Check out the one kilo donut at the bakery. And at number one, Noosa River Caravan Park. Who doesn't love Noosa? Well, we did say this is our Christmas show and I thought a novel gift might be something for the van. So, let's go shopping. Good idea. All right, I can't wait to go shopping. We are in the accessories store. We had a few items on the Christmas list. I love spending a bit of money at Christmas, making people oh, happy. who doesn't? Who doesn't love the gift of giving? <laughs> and honestly, a caravan is like a mini home. It certainly is. So I've got some great ideas to make it feel like a real home away from home. Can't wait. Let's go shopping. Let's do it. 
first product. <laughs> Storage is so important in a caravan, right? It sure is. And we all need to have that kettle for mm. a cup of tea. Who doesn't love a cup of tea in the morning? Thanks. Maybe one in the afternoon. <laughs> I prefer a wine, but look at that. Oh, wow, who would have known? Pop straight down. This is very exciting. I have Look never seen one of these before. No, they're really cool. Okay, let's look at the next thing on the Christmas list. Everyone likes a little bit of personality, don't they, with their caravan? They do, yeah. And the mat might seem like a bit of a no-brainer, but honestly, people often forget and then they go away and end up with a sandy floor in the caravan, but these are fantastic for keeping the sand out. Okay, so we're talking about storage before mm -hmm. and being summer. Everybody needs a fan. Oh, especially at the, in the heat wave we're experiencing at the moment. Exactly. So this is incredible, this fan. So it just pops up like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, very handy. Yes. Back down. And that's awesome, hey, but look at this. It extends. And it's actually really surprising how powerful it is, really. Yeah. It's fantastic. Let me try that one out. There you go. Oh, that's exactly <laughs> what we need on this hot day. Oh, very cool. My number one Christmas gift. We all know it's been a tough year, but there's no need to be a Grinch when it comes to adding some festive cheer to your caravan. We started with a wreath on the door. Now, depending on how much space you have, add a Christmas tree, jazz up your holiday table setting, or let Santa leave his mark for the kids. It's all about keeping it simple and adding some sparkle to your home away from home. It's easy to make it a Merry Christmas. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Merry Christmas! <laughs> How good is this? There you go. Hey, jeez! Oh, oh. Mirage just delivering the goods. Sell yourself oh. again, mate. Josh, uh, it's a special time of year, isn't it, Christmas? Oh, it sure is. I mean, it's all about good food, good company, and family. I, I say that's Christmas to us. <laughs> yeah. And mate, uh, Camperland TV. Uh, where yeah. did the, the concept spring from? It's about giving something back to the caravaners. Um, you know, we wanted to provide a bit of value, a um, bit of entertainment. Um, you know, there's a lot of new people coming into the caravanning market, so half of these people, they're not quite sure where they're going to go with their van, um, what they're going to do when they go caravanning, and what it's all about. Well, what a Christmas cracking episode <laughs> it's been, Camperland TV. That's our very first one. Andrew's done a tremendous job. We've seen some incredible things here at Brisbane Camperland. But of course, there'll be lots and lots of things that you'll want to ask us. And that's the great joy of doing something like this is this show is designed for you. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Ho, ho, ho. So if there's anything that you'd like some more information on or something that you think that we need to know about, maybe a destination that you'd like us to highlight, you can get in touch with us and of course we'll film it in upcoming episodes. That's about all I've got to say. G, over to you. From all of us to all of you, have a very Merry Christmas. Yay! Yay! See you soon. <laughs>